I would like to talk with you for, for a few moments about leadership in a Catholic school. Now, the quality of education that is offered in a Catholic school is well known to be good and it's widely appreciated. Indeed, some people say that's the only reason why parents want to get their children into Catholic schools, because the education is really very good. But there's another issue too. You and I know that that quality of education is related directly to the ethos of the school, to its foundation in the inspiration of faith and in the unfolding of that faith in the life of the school. That's what holds and underpins the quality of education. Now, a leader in a Catholic school must be able to explain that connection, to explain that this is a good school because it is a Catholic school. And the Catholic bit isn't incidental, but central. And therefore, a Catholic leader has really got to have confidence in their faith. They've got to have that kind of confidence that allows them to link up their life of faith with all their professional competence and expertise in which we are so very good. If that link is not spelt out, and sometimes we're not very good at spelling it out, then those outside simply think they can have the good quality of the education without having anything of the faith that shapes, inspires, nurtures and guides that education. So this explaining, this witnessing to the wholeness of Catholic education as being professionally excellent and faithful to the church and to Christ and to the gospel is very, very important. Now, as I say, a leader of a Catholic school must be able to do that with confidence. And that confident witness, that confident explaining is impossible if the leadership of a school doesn't live that faith, if it isn't within the person, the persons, the key people in a school. If that faith isn't within them, they won't be able to explain how it feeds and nurtures and gives life to the school. All of this makes sense when you remember that a Catholic school is an expression of the mission of the church. Therefore, this vision of Catholic education springs from within the life of the church. The life of the church being the body of Christ, being that means that Christ has given us so that he can touch us, shape our lives, guide our minds, and indeed bring us back to him when we make a mess of things and go astray. So a leader of a Catholic school who is really going to demonstrate the wholeness of Catholic education has to be well-rooted in that church, in that community of faith, himself or herself. When the leadership of a school lives the faith themselves from within, then the witness that they give in a school makes sense. Then Catholic education makes sense. It's not just good education with a Catholic label above it. So my encouragement to you is to live your faith and your school leadership inseparably. Keep them close together. And when we're asked to explain why we need practicing Catholics in leadership positions in the school, we can say this sort of explanation. We can say because a Catholic school is an expression of Catholic faith and therefore those with public responsibility for it must understand it from the inside out and not attempt to simply manage something from the outside so I hope those of you who are or have been or will be joining in some of the initiatives with the College for School Leadership, I hope that you'll always keep these thoughts in mind. I hope that you'll be very confident in speaking about the integrity of faith and education, both in the enterprise of the school and in your own lives. And when you see young teachers who are clearly inspired by their faith to teach professionally extremely well, then encourage them 
encourage them to dream of being school leaders, to dream of taking this responsibility in the name of the church, for it's a very important part of the church's mission. I thank you for your leadership. It's a real ministry in the life of the church. It gives flesh and blood and heart and expression to that mission of the church. It's frontline work. I appreciate it. Depend on the Lord. Depend on my prayers, on the prayers of your family, of the prayers of your parish, and do a good job. I know you will. The Lord is with us. He will bless our best efforts and bring them to fruition.